Hey, what is going on pros and prices? Mr. Lyman HD here and welcome to another drinks review. Today I'm reviewing Monster's new Espresso Monster and this is just going to be on the espresso and milk. So, they've got this new one and they've also done the vanilla espresso which I've already reviewed. And this one was very nice and of course this was a vanilla tasting, so more of a sweet. Whereas this one is more of a just pure coffee. These also resemble the old coffee monsters they used to do, which is the old espresso, uh, the old hammer, which again, this is more like a vanilla -y type one, which went with the new vanilla. And we also have the uh, the other dark one, the other dark espresso monster, that is the midnight one, which again was able more of a uh, coffee base rather than a sweet vanilla one or another flavor. So they're the old ones, these are the new ones. Let's see how they compare. So I've got this bigger can out of BP and it cost me an incredible £2.49, which is insane. But, you know, I bought it and hey ho, I think they were just bandwagoning on the uh, new drink and price. But they've come down a little bit now, I think like one fifty or something like that. So for £2.49 is ridiculous. But anyways, I give you guys a 4 for 60 of the can. So we have a fairly cool looking can design. And we have kind of that shiny gold writing and font style, which I absolutely love. That kind of shiny gold. Have a little picture of coffee on there. And um, of course we have the logo and stuff in gold. It does look really cool. The instructions on the bag. No instructions but you know ingredients and stuff. And we have a little bit of description there which I'll get to in a second. On the bottom we have nothing. And on the top we have again a lovely finished gold. Uh, with a nice black pull wing with the monster logo. And the can as well just to note it feels. It doesn't feel rough like the uh, monster ultra cans. It feels. It just. You know, it just feels a bit rough. It has a bit of a texture to it, just a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a feel to it. So, reading this description on the back. Europeans are famous for fast cars, fashion, and coffee served. Long, short, hot, cold, you name it. So, he travelled the continent, learned from the best baristas, and created our latest coffee, Espresso Monster. Espresso Monster is a triple threat. Three shots of espresso, ice cold milk, and Monster's Espresso Energy Blend. Because when it comes to coffee... We're a sophisticated beast. It's very interesting. So yeah, very similar to the old ones, basically. Um, so yes, this is free espresso shots, so which is pretty nuts to be honest with you. And uh, just as a quick note, it is the 250ml can. Uh, caffeine content is 60 milligrams per 100 ml. So again, it's double of what the average is for normal energy drinks, which is generally 32. So even though it's in a smaller can, uh, there's more concentrate of caffeine. So. It uh, contains niacin and vitamin B6. Uh, no, no vitamin B12 or panophenic acid in this one. Sugar content is 7.9 grams per 100 ml. So, yes, these are a little bit sweet. And just for comparison, the old drinks were quite sweet as well. Um, in fact, well, this one contains 6.3 grams. So, not as sugary, but still sugary. And the vanilla one contains 7.5. And the vanilla one contains 7.9 on here. So, interesting. They both contain 7.9. And they do have sweeteners as well. And the sweetener is so close, so it doesn't contain a spartamer, which is good. Shake gently. Enjoy cold espresso monster and milk. Vitamin, sugars, and sweetener. Lovely. So it's just shake gently. So give it a little shake. Otherwise, it will explode over me, as we all know. So I really enjoyed the vanilla one of this. Um, I'm hoping this is nice as well. I do like just coffee as it is. Like I love the flavoured coffees, but... In terms of the just pure coffee on their own, like I do like them, but bear in mind this is probably going to be sweet because uh, you know these kind of flavored cool coffees are always sweet, even though it's not flavored. So, anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup, let's get straight into it. Hopefully, it doesn't explode over me after shaking it gently. The color, well, we all know it's going to be a brown color, and the smell, it's going to stink of coffee. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It has literally gone all over my finger. And it went somewhere over my screen, which is behind. Oh dear. Okay. That literally. And, oh my god, it's literally gone everywhere. Okay, bear with me, guys. So it's all over the top, as you can see. It's all over the top there, so just bear with me. I'm going to have to sip some of it off. Now we've got past the, that was literally gone over there. Well, I'm going to have to tie that up in a minute. Anyway, so now we're past the explosion stage. Oh, for God's sake. 
I did shake it gently, Jesus. Well, keep this can as well, it's gonna be sticky. Right, so we'll keep you guys waiting. Right, let's go. There we go. So of course the colour is, as we'd expect, is a typical brown coffee-ish flavour. Sorry, uh, not flavour, colour. Uh, yeah, so definitely not see-through. How thick is it? Well, I mean, it's quite runny as you can see, but it's not like watery. I mean, it sticks to the side a little bit, as you can see. Can't tip it far too over. Um, so yeah, it sticks a little bit, as you can see. The smell. Yep. Smells definitely just neutral coffee rather than the vanilla one. Definitely smell of vanilla. Um, you know, but nevertheless, let's uh, taste some. Hmm. So, it's lovely. It's nice. Okay, it's nice and cold. It's been in the fridge for 24 hours. It's nice and cold. So, there is coffee flavour in there, but it isn't as strong or as prominent as you think. Um, whereas with the vanilla one, you definitely knew there was vanilla there with a coffee background. But as this is just kind of coffee on its own, there's only kind of one flavour one flavor to stick to in the drink. It is... That bird's going crazy. It is sweet. You definitely know it's got sugar in it. And you definitely know it is quite sweet. Uh, which maybe... Uh, it's difficult because, <clears throat> like, do you make it as more of a natural coffee and not as sweet and be more coffee? Or do you make it more sweet so it just, everyone likes sweet stuff kind of thing? Uh, it's kind of a tough decision now to make, I guess, at the end of the day with the natural, well, not natural, but neutral coffee flavour. Because for me, it's nice, but honestly, it's too sweet for what it is. Like, I know what those other drinks, those other cafe, cafe to, um, coffee drinks, you know the ones in the little things where you poke the straw in, like those type of drinks. They're more, they're, they're sweet, but they're, they're more, they taste more coffee. This is, I think this is too sweet for, for my liking. But get me one again, I'd happily drink this again and again, just like the vanilla. Uh, but it's definitely too sweet. If it was more coffee based, then I think I would definitely be really amazed by this. But again, you put that in a cup and now just because it's sweet, it just seems like another generic cold coffee drink, uh, where it, does, it doesn't really stand out with a different flavour or anything. Uh, let me try some out of the can. Yeah, it's just, it's kind of just a bit, you know, hmm, really. And again, seeing as Monster's own take or whatever they've done on it, it's not, it's not anything out of the extraordinary. All I say is in the blind taste test, you won't know that's Monster, and you won't know the other one is whatever other random coffee drink, the cafeteria or the Starbucks one or whatever. And that's the point, I think, with this drink. Um, unfortunately. But nevertheless, it's still fine. Uh, I'll definitely have the vanilla one over this. If, you, if you're going to have if you're gonna have sweet, go for a flavoured sweet one. Uh, but for neutral coffee flavours, I think definitely stick to more coffee rather than sweet neutral coffee rather than the flavoured sweetening ones. But... I mean, yeah, what do I give it? I mean, I will give it a thumbs up because I would drink it again, but, you know, you guys know me. You guys will know what I mean when you give it a try. It's just sweet when it's not really that coffee, coffee-ly enough, if that's even a word. Not coffee enough, but, um, yep. I will give that a thumbs up, but as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.